Hello students, this is my first video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about preliminary concepts related to archaeological sources. This topic is a part of the sources for reconstructing ancient Indian history. It is from the syllabus of BA first semester history unit 1. In the beginning let us understand what is sources and what is their importance in historical reconstruction. The most common definition of history is that it is a discipline which systematically studies the past of human societies. Historian reconstructs the past or events of past that is already lost in the wave of time and produce a narrative. Therefore, on a lighter note, history is historian story. His story or story told by the historian about past events. There is a vital difference between story told by a historian and story told by a novelist or a short story writer. The most crucial difference is that the stories told by historians are not fictional or imaginary. To be history, the story must be based on real or genuine facts. Therefore, one of the most essential materials for historical reconstruction is facts. The past reconstructed by the historian must be based on genuine facts. Then, what is the other essential material used by the historians? The other essential material is interpretation or explanation. Interpretation is situating facts in its proper context by which historian relate or connects different traits or aspects of a historical event. But we are not going to deal with this aspect in this discussion. Another basic question is, from where historians get their facts? Do they come to their mind automatically? Or they require some lever to derive the facts? The answer is, facts do not come to the mind of the historians automatically. Historians need to give serious effort to bring out facts from various materials. The materials from which historians derive their facts are called sources. The sources can be classified into two broad categories. They are archaeological source and literary source. In this presentation, we are going to deal with some of the basic question, concepts and ideas related to archaeological sources. Archaeological sources are the sources where methods of the discipline of archaeology are applied to explore and study ancient things. The term archaeology is formed by the combination of two Greek words, archaea meaning ancient things and logos meaning theory or science. Thus, archaeology is the science of studying old things. Archaeological exploration and study leads to uncovering of many facts of very distant past of human society. It is known to all that the people who engage 
in the study of things of past are called archaeologists. The ancient things or objects archaeologists study may be found on the surface of a ground or they may be remain buried underground. Such place where the existence of ancient things ascertained is called archaeological sites. Various archaeological sites look like a small hill or elevated ground. It is because when people live in a place for thousands of years, they keep building and rebuilding their dwellings on that place again and again. And also due to gathering of soil and rubbish, the ground level get elevated and look like a little hill. They are called mounds. Archaeological archaeologists make preliminary observation of a place where things of past may be found. This process is known as archaeological observation. When objects of past are found in a place and the archaeologists get convinced of possibility of finding more such ancient things in the underground, they decide to dig into the ground. This is known as archaeological excavation. There are two ar kinds of archaeological excavation. When a small area is demarcated and it is dug down to the lowest level, it is called vertical excavation. But when digging is done over a large surface area, it is called horizontal excavation. Archaeologists are interested in unearthing or finding out very ordinary things such as a piece of pottery, tools, bones, ruins of ancient buildings, etc. Because such things can provide valuable information about the everyday life of common people who had made or used those objects. Archaeologists have a special word for any object made by humans that is artifact. Excavations are done in a very systematic and meticulous way. Archaeologists keep accurate and detailed record of whatever found in every level of the excavation. In archaeology, layers or levels are given utmost importance. Archaeological sites where the evidence of the dwelling of people in ancient times are found divided into different periods such as period 1, period 2, period 3, etc. It is important to remember that going deeper of the surface means going back in time. Hence, objects that are found near the surface belong to more recent period than the things that are found in the deeper levels. In an archaeological site, it is very challenging job to date different periods. Therefore, determine dates of objects, archaeologists take the help of various scientific techniques such as radiocarbon dating or carbon-14, thermoluminescence dating, dendrochronology, etc. Radiocarbon dating or Carbon-14 is used to date organic material like charcoal or charred bones that is not older than 50,000 years. Carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope of carbon. A living organism absorbs carbon-14 and carbon-12 from the atmosphere in constant proportion. When the organism dies, carbon-14 begins to disintegrate at the rate of one half every 5,730 years. By measuring the amount of carbon-14 remaining, scientists can calculate when the organism died. 
This method was developed by an American scientist, Willard Frank Libby, in 1949. For this landmark invention, he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1960. Thermoluminescence dating is another scientific method applied to dead potteries that have been heated to 400 to 500 centigrade in the past. Thermoluminescence is the release in the form of light of stored energy from a substance when it is heated. Similarly, dendrochronology is a scientific method used to study and analyze tree rings which provide valuable information about climate trends and atmospheric conditions. The study of which is called dendrochromatology. However, these scientific methods cannot give us exact dates. They only provide most approximate date or period. Therefore, to mention about such time or period, the word circa is used, which a Latin word is meaning approximately. The exploration and excavation of an archaeological site leads to discovery of objects like tools, potteries that help us understanding the culture of people lived in the past. However, the word culture has different meaning in the disciplines of social sciences like archaeology, anthropology, history, sociology, etc. The concept of culture has been developed by anthropologists and archaeologists to describe the distinctive adaptive systems used by human beings. Culture is the way of adaptation to the environment by human groups. It also covers a society's traditional system of belief and behavior as acquired by individuals and the members of social groups and as manifested in individual or collective behavior. Humans are the only animals to manufacture tools for the purpose of adapting to their environment. Therefore, study of tools is of utmost importance in archaeology for understanding the culture of past societies. When it is said some sites belong to same culture, it implies that Similar kind of tools, potteries, have been found at those sites. This is also indication of the fact that the people who lived in those sites shared some basic cultural characteristics. It is very important to note that the more we move towards distant past, the more we require the assistance of archaeology in studying the human societies. Since the practice of writing appeared in human societies in a later stage of the evolution. Therefore, only archaeology can give us, sorry, help us studying pre-literate societies. History begins with the development of writing. So, the narrative of the period before writing is called prehistory. Prehistoric period is the exclusive domain of archaeology. Some of the sites which are considered historically very important are excavated several times in search of new evidences. When new evidences are found, it may lead to fresh or new interpretation of the already established historical accounts. For example, before the archaeological excavations commenced at Harappa and Mahanjadaro, Vedic age was considered as the advent of civilization in India. But the archaeological findings in the sites of Harappa and Mahanjadaro push back the beginnings of civilization in India thousands years back. In India, Archaeological Survey of India, which was established in 1861, supervises the archaeological sites of Indian subcontinent. Its first director was 
director general was Alexander Cunningham.